Welcome back. It is time for another post back. Let's just dive right in. As always, the description is hidden by another sticker that is put on by the Dutch Postal Service. These are some more of those TQFP breakout boards. I already had a few of those, which I used for the AVRDA breakout. And I ordered a few because they weren't that expensive. I ordered a few from different sellers, hoping that at least one of them wouldn't take ages. But yeah, now I have a lot of these. So I might need some more TQFP chips. They support up to 100 pins and with a pitch of 0.5 millimeters. And on the other side, they support up to 64 pins with a with a 0.8 millimeter pitch so i have to remind myself to stop ordering those because now i have enough next one i hope these are uh, some of these exacto knife knives because this is really getting really blunt and uh, i can't find the spare blades these are some USB-C connectors. These don't have all the pins that USB-C uses broken out on the back. These are mainly just used for, for power. I'm actually only going to use USB-C for power for now on a board I'm designing. These got recommended by, I can't remember who it was. And they said these are some easy to solder and good connectors. So I found them on AliExpress and decided to give them a try. Although these are surface mount connectors, they do have some through hole pieces on there. And that's just to make sure you have a good connection and a solid mechanical connection to the board. So I'm gonna give these a try and I'll report back. Next up. Oh, more USB connectors. But I don't think, no, these are not USB-C. These are USB micro. Oop, that flew away. Yeah, I'm not gonna take these out. These are USB micro. And I said I wasn't gonna take one out, but one's really wanting to come out, so. Well, let's give it a go then. These are USB micro with the short needles which leaves a bit more space on the PCB for routing. And the keyword is short needle. You can also get the ones where the, the pins are a bit longer, but in my case, I needed space. So I went with the short needle ones and they seem to work really well. I haven't had any problems with them. The only thing is that there are just two connectors on the shield this one and this one which don't really make a good mechanical connection so I found a footprint that exposes some copper underneath the shield so where there's no pin but does give you the option to put some solder on there and create a better mechanical connection so that should solve that problem of them sometimes when I'm a bit rough or when it's a really tight fit with the cable, the connector comes off the board. Next one, feels a bit heavy. I hope it's not more USB connectors. This is one of those clamps. I received those in a previous, can I just tear this? No, that's really well. So this is again one of these clamps I received a few of those in another post back video. These are a bit different. Uh, let's get this out. The other ones I have are the, well, you mount them horizontally, but the action, the, 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 the lever action is vertical. And these are a bit different. These you mount vertical and the lever action, as you can see, 
is also vertical because I haven't decided what type of programming jig I want to make I thought for inspiration I order both of these types and maybe that will give me an idea of what I want to do again this also comes with the the well the end piece which is variable in height so you can leave this at a fixed height and determine how far it pushes down by turning this into and out of this shaft and now I have multiple of these levers levers I, I really don't know what what the correct pronunciation is so it's time to think up a rig of something and as where the other one felt pretty heavy and that's because there was something heavy in there this almost weighs nothing so I couldn't figure out what's in there oh did I cut the bag or uh... no it was just open great All right they're out now so these are some switches so nothing special with these these are just some restock I use them on quite a few projects and the bag they're in moves from one project box to another and I can't keep track where the bag is so I just ordered some more so I can evenly distribute them over the project boxes and never have to open another box to find a switch next up module this is let me get it out this is an ESP32 a Wii room to be exact I'm working on a project that uses an ESP32 and my idea is to make that all open source so you can enjoy it as well and I have an ESP32 but only one and I want to make that project as accessible as I can so I went on Aliexpress and tried to find the most common module which is well it, it's this one it's I don't know how many pins it has the reason I bought a few of these this is just one of a few I bought is that I wanted to make sure that if you or anyone else buys a module from Aliexpress chances are that it will work the same as it works for me and the last one for today just arrived yesterday and I think this is gonna take me a while to unpack alright that took about a minute to do and still have the box to go see the other day I received an LCD module well it was named LCD module it, it was a TFT module but you know that was just stuffed in one of these grey bags and yeah arrived damaged now this is a better way of shipping an LCD or TFT screen or whatever screen it might be something that is fragile but from an unpacking point of view it's a lot so there was a lot of tape and also some of this foam and then there's a box and there's the, the, the air bubble uh, thing and some more air bubble thing so kudos to the seller for wrapping it this carefully I appreciate that even more dear friend etc etc um, normally I don't do this by the way show these notes but I really appreciate the way they wrap this so uh, I'm gonna give them some exposure this is a TFT with a touchscreen and this is a TFT with a capacitive touchscreen now this goes with the ESP I received earlier and I wanted just the module because I'm planning to design my own PCB where this just 
plugs in with one of these FPC connectors but it's kind of hard to find the correct pinout for this there are a lot of different manufacturers and I sometimes have the feeling that they just include the first picture of one of these screens they find on the internet and that is not actually the screen they are selling so I wanted to have one in my hand so I can actually take a caliper and measure the dimensions so that's the next thing I'm going to do so on the right you can see the resistive touch screen and this has this silver border around it uh, which basically acts like a resistor so when you press the screen the resistance changes and that's how you can tell whether there was a touch and where the touch was but what I also notice is that it seems that the display area itself might be a bit smaller I don't know how that will, would work yet but the only way to figure that out is just to hook this up and see what happens by the way I was just thinking we may be able to see what chip is on there which is kind of difficult to see on camera because there is a protective layer of captain tape on it and I don't want to take that off so maybe some different light I have this lying around oh that works oh, it's upside down this uses the FT 6236U and I know because I looked it up online that that is a focal tech touchscreen controller chip which uses I squared C so that should be reasonably easy to interface with so this is what my days are going to be like for the next few days figuring out how to get this working with an ESP32 and I will of course keep you updated and these are all of today's postbag items thank you so much for watching if you like this video well you know what to do and I hope to see you next time oh by the way if you want to be instantly updated on the progress I make with the screen check out the link below in the description there's a link to my discord server and uh, everyone in my discord server is kept up to date on how I'm faring with this thanks again for watching and hope to see you next time bye bye